They don't bust too. <laughs> My people, whistle blow, I don't blow whistle for a mefele head too. A mefele, a mefefe, a metene. They don't blow whistle for your head. Don't be smart, you know. <laughs> I will leave and I make gonna watch the whistle when they blow for this man head. Don't be smart. Everything when you do hide, they don't talk and come out. Now the part two be this so this one tough. Oh. <laughs> my people, as you now they watch and so now they hear my voice, make gonna share that. Make other people see, see her, the same way you see her. Comment for the comment section. Leave your comment there. Like it. Follow this page so that Facebook will recommend it to other people to see too. My people, our national actor remains the same. Oh. Now be laba broom, broom laba. I don't come again, come again, not the kill us. Now up, up. Now with the easy and they go. I go live one now. Make one now watch how they take blood in me so for me feel it do. Now be this, not all. I say this is 2019 Nigeria, not 1919. You cannot verbally deny me bail that you put up level 16. He's alive. I'm, I'm taking him on, really, on, on that. So after that, I was reroded in court. Then uh, the former chief judge, Ishak Bello, I was brought before him, and it was on a Friday, I remember, and after, I after my arraignment, he now said he's going to have a bail ruling, I think the following Wednesday, from then, the matter, the matter was kept sin and I. Whatever I'm, I'm saying, you can fact check. You can go to Sahara Reporters. They should, there is a, a, there should be a report. George Hugo writes from prison, from UJ prison, and laments his detention. So I had to, you know, uh, I think it was on August 16, thereabout, when the chief judge sent for me. He didn't even have the case in the in the court. It was in his chambers. And now gave me bail, transferred the case to another Justice Alilu. But as fate will have it, the conspiracy to, to sentence me to seven years, and I, I met another uh, activist, I.G. Wala, who Alilu sent, sentenced to seven years at uh, Suleja Prison. So I wrote a petition against Justice Alilu because he was caught bragging what he was going to do to me. So when a judge becomes personally involved in a matter and bias, that's all I need to show. So that, 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 that petition was so weighty that he was asked to remove his hand. And of course, till today, the, the, the charges, I mean, we've been to court, they're not, they're not even show up anymore. So when I come out to say that there was a conspiracy by a mefiele, the judge, the police, to do me, and I know what I'm talking about. This is George Hugo. I know what I'm talking about. So, um, I guess I hope that answers your question. Right? The third one is... Okay, why is the press briefing directed to... I mean, that... As you see, the charges here, when I wrote Godwin and Mephelen, I want you to read this very well. When I wrote Godwin and Mephelen, I wrote Godwin and Mephelen because he was the head of CBN, the forest fraud, and fraud allegations we detected were squarely under his purview, not Buhari. Same way when I took EFCC to Senate, even if he involved what happened from Ribadu, whatever, to uh, Faida Wasiri, to the, the person who's, when you say, the box stop at your desk. So I took EFCC to uh, Senate, but I had to include Lamode. So let him come there and say, this, this I didn't do. But even if you didn't do it, as the head of law enforcement agency, you have the power to investigate your predecessors. So that was that's how it was. But in this case, everything I wrote about was under the purview of Godwin and Mechelen. Now, going forward from the forest fraud, the certificate of capital importation for the 25.6 billion dollars. Godwin and Mechelen himself wrote a letter. I published it here. This magazine is so robust that you can nobody can share away from responsibility. Godwin and Mechelen wrote a letter. 
In fact, my friend Shore was celebrating on Sahara reporters that his activism first um, a method to write to to build the MTN 8.1 billion dollars. I call Shore and say, no, my brother, it is not 8.1 billion dollars. I have the evidence it is 25.6 billion dollars, and I took it to the whistleblower's office. So for him to have written and acquiesce to the fact that MTN and his bankers owe 8.1 billion dollars. That is not Bugari. That is a mission. Yes.